The myth surrounding the J-20 fighter jet, one of the biggest puzzles in the border tensions between India and China in 1962. Is the question why India is not using its air power against the Chinese army on its Himalayan borders. Had the Indian Air Force been used, the outcome of the border war could have been different. This was not only because the Chinese Air Force was still in its infancy in the 1960s, but also because of the technical difficulties they faced in operating from the Tibetan Plateau. Conditions have now changed. Both the Chinese Air Force and the Indian Air Force have grown exponentially. But the inherent difficulties for the Chinese Air Force in operating in Tibet remain the same. In this respect, the Indian Air Force has an advantage over China that Beijing's propaganda machine cannot ignore. The Line of Actual Control LAC, where future confrontation between the two countries' armed forces is likely, is located far from airfields on the Chinese mainland. To carry out the war effort, the Chinese Air Force had to operate from airfields on the Tibetan Plateau. Here, they would face the technological disadvantage of not being able to take off with a full load. Quoting from India Bloom, October 2023, Chinese fighter planes that took off from airfields in Tibet could not carry complete weapons, nor could their fuel tanks be fully filled. In contrast, India has a series of airfields that approach sea level near LAC, namely in Assam, North Bengal and the western part of the country. In the region, Haiyan fighter aircraft Rafael, Sukhoi MKI and MiG-29 have been deployed. These three types of aircraft face no problems taking off while carrying a lot of weapons and fuel, and also have many advantages over Chinese aircraft. Campaign managers in Beijing are working hard to create the J-20 fighter that China has developed itself. Claiming that the aircraft is technologically superior to any aircraft in India's arsenal. It was stated that the J-20 had been deployed at the Western Theater Command of the Chinese People's Liberation Army PLA, which monitors the China-India border. China also said that the presence of this fifth-generation fighter aircraft would provide the necessary air superiority over the Indian Air Force in Tibet in the event of a conflict. A number of Chinese experts, in a statement quoted by the Global Times, reported in July 2020 that, the Rafale is only a third-generation fighter jet, and does not have much of a chance against fourth-generation stealth fighters like the J-20. Another group of Chinese experts, still in the Global Times report, has admitted that the J-20 is not a fifth-generation fighter at all, but rather a fourth-generation. Stealth fighters that fall into the fifth-generation category are those that do not leave any signs on enemy radar. There are only three fifth-generation aircraft in the world today the F-35 and F-22 from the United States and the Su-57 made in Russia. Former Chief of the Indian Air Staff Marshal B.S. Danoa further exploded the myth of the J-20's technological superiority over the Rafale. The J-20 is equipped with canards, while the original fifth-generation aircraft did not have canards, he said. A canard is a small front wing of an aircraft that is attached to the fuselage located in front of the main wing. These components improve the aircraft's control and lift, but leave traces on radar. In addition, said Danoa, unlike fifth-generation aircraft, the J-20 cannot reach supercruise speeds exceeding Mach 1. Air Marshal Anil Chopra, retired, 
of the Indian Air Force was also quoted by the Eurasian Times on January 16, 2021, where he questioned the capabilities of Chinese fighter aircraft such as the J-20. While China downplays the qualities of the Rafale, we have reason to question the J-20's stealth capabilities, given the rough shape of its radar signals and reflecting control canards. The J-20 uses older Russian engines, which are poorly designed to hide radar and infrared signatures, he said. <laughs>